Jesus. So this is my third attempt on trying to tell this story. I'm talking about it. It's just so, it breaks, it's just, oh, man. It just breaks me down. And I didn't even know that it affected me this much until I started talking about it. So, once again, here we go. Um, the reason why I am recording this video is because I, um, I have a Facebook and I've been noticing lately, um, about the Brock Turner thing, how he, I knew that, I knew the story about how he raped that young lady in college and, um, only got three months in jail or something like that. I tried to stray, stray away from rape stories because they make me so angry but um i i did happen to see it and i was like you know it's you know that's something that it's it's not a joke it's it's not a publicity stunt that's not something that i i see people saying oh well you know it was only a couple minutes like why does that matter what oh. anyways i'm gonna tell my story and hopefully that will encourage others to tell theirs as well. So I was raped in college as well. And unfortunately, um, I have been sexually harassed, harassed more than once in my lifetime. But I'm just going to tell this story. The rest of them, the other two, I just don't. I don't want to talk about any of them, but anyways, so um, when I was in college, I met this guy, um, I'm going to call him Peter. So um, me and Peter befriended each other and, um, you know, he took me out to, all, this was my first year of college, my freshman year. He took me out to all the clubs in that area, all the bars. I was underage. When I went to college, I was only 17 because I was really young when I started college. Um, he took me out to all the new cl all the clubs, all the bars and stuff. I got in free, and they didn't ID me because they knew him so well. So um, me and Peter, I would say we were good friends. So one day he called me, one night he called me, he asked me if I had any plans and I was like, no. And he said, okay, well, I'm going to come get you and maybe we can go to a hotel and drink or whatever. I'm like, okay, that's what I did when I was in college. I drank, I hung out with people, played cards, things like that. Um, so I didn't think anything of it. We've done this plenty of times. So I went to... Um, um, went to go get dressed or whatever and then I called him I'm like what, is, what time are you gonna be here and he's like oh I have to run some errands I want to have my brother come pick you up okay I met his brother before his brother has hung out with us on numerous occasions so his brother came to pick us up pick me up and we went to the hotel and I was going to the hotel um, just to check into the room so I checked into the room, I gave his brother a key, and I told him to go drop it off to Peter. So, um, I was, um, I, uh, then I went in the room. So I got in the room, and, uh, like 20 minutes later, Peter's brother walks in, and I'm like, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be giving Peter the key. And he's like, oh, Peter said he'll just meet us here. So I'm like, okay, I thought it was just going to be us too. But whatever. Like, he can hang with us. Whatever. Um, so then uh, the brother got on the phone with two other people, two other men, and invited them to our hotel room. And I was like, who who is that? And he's like, oh, they're just my cousins. They're just coming to smoke. And I'm like, you're not smoking in this room because it's in my name. And he's like, oh, well, we'll just smoke outside. So he went outside to go smoke with the brothers or the cousins, whatever. I'm sorry. A lot of family is involved here. Um, and then they came back in my room. My room, and he's like, hey, do you want a drink? We bought some drinks. And I'm like, yeah, I can definitely use a drink right now because still waiting on Peter. Don't know where Peter's at. 
So, um, uh, he's like, all right. So he made the drinks for all of us. I thought nothing of it. So I sat there and I was sipping on a drink. It didn't it didn't taste weird. I just drank it. And then like on my third gulp of this drink, I felt like really tingling. Like my hands were tingling. And I just didn't feel like myself. So I was like jokingly, I said, Did you put something in my drink? And he said, No, no, why would I do that? Why would I do that? And I'm like, I don't know. And, you know, I just kind of left it at that. Like, okay, whatever. But since I wasn't feeling like myself anymore, you know, when, since my body started feeling a little different, I had stopped drinking the drink. So, um, he whispered something to the cousins. I don't know what he said. He whispered. And then he came in the bed with me. And now, at first, I was sitting on the side of the bed. And I was like, you know, I don't feel good. I don't feel good, you know, what, why do I feel this way? Well, I don't feel good. And he's like, he told me to, to be quiet. He said, shh, and he put his, his finger over my lips, like, like that. And he kind of like lured me to lay down in the bed. So I'm like, um, I couldn't really talk. My heart was racing and my body was lifeless. I couldn't move, I, nothing. And I wasn't drunk. That was my first drink of the night. He had to have drugged me. So, um, after he put his finger over my mouth and lured me down to the bed, he started taking off my clothes and my shoes. He took off my boots first. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm trying to just make you be comfortable. And I was like, okay. And then after I said, okay, my voice was gone. I couldn't speak anymore. So he started taking off my shorts. I had shorts on. And then he took off my stockings. I had stockings on. And um, he did all of this under the cover while the cousins just watched. And then after he did that, he took the cover off me. And he, it's like he was trying to show them that I had nothing on after that. And I could hear them saying like, like, just pretty much like trying to call me a whore and saying, oh, well, she let you do she let you do all that under the cover. I thought she was rocking with your brother and stuff like that, but I couldn't even I couldn't de defend myself. I couldn't move. I couldn't I couldn't talk. I couldn't do anything. And it just felt it just made me feel horrible. So, after that, um, he, uh, told him to come here and I got so scared. I really thought they were going to gang rape me and I got so scared. <laughs> And, um, um, they didn't, they didn't, he told them to leave. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what happened, but they didn't touch me. They, he told them to leave and then he raped me. He, um, he got on top of me and he, uh, he got on top of me and he like licked my face and 
and um at the time i had like i had a lip ring right here i had a lip ring and he was like biting on my lip ring like i don't know he was biting on my lip ring um and then he and then he um he pinned my arms back behind my head I don't know why, because I couldn't fight back. It's not like I was doing anything. I was lifeless. I wasn't even moving. And then... After that, he um, penetrated me and he raped me. And I felt so helpless. to finish the story I felt so helpless when this happened to me and that was just I would not wish this on my worst enemy this was the worst feeling of my life I was so lifeless I couldn't move I couldn't do anything for myself and um all I remember after that is waking up in my roommate's in my in my room with my well in my room with my roommate and so when I woke up I was like how did I get here I was hoping that everything was just a dream and that 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 didn't happen to me but then I looked on the floor and I see my clothes were there. The same clothes that I had the night before. And I was like, what happened? And she said, you called me and you told me to come get you from the hotel. And she said, when you came out, you didn't have any stockings on. You didn't have your shoes on. But you had your shorts and your shirt on. I don't remember what happened. I have no recollection of what he did to me after he started penetrating me because I just, I don't know if I blacked out or what, maybe I blacked out. But I have, I have no idea what he did after that. Um, I went to my RA, if you've never been to college, that is your residence assistant, the person that's in charge of the girls on that floor. And I told her, somebody raped me last night. And um, she took me to the hospital. I had to get a rape kit done. And I described to the police what he looked like, who he was, what the most I knew about him. And unfortunately for me, they never caught him. Um... They never caught him, and um, he never went to jail. I never got justice for this. It, it, it sucks and just knowing that people get away with things like this, and there was no justice served. And there, I know a lot of people that go through rape cases, and there's no justice served to them. Some people don't even go out and tell their story, but it's a horrible feeling. And it's something that y your rapist doesn't even realize, or maybe they do and don't care, but this is something that affects you your entire life. This is something that affects my relationships, my friendships. When I have children, I know it's going to affect me, you know, being restricted. Restrict, restricting them from doing certain things because I don't want what happened to me to happen to them. I'm just going to end the story right there. I want to just say that if this happened to you, come out and talk about it, you know, and try to get help if it's really affecting you as much as it's affected me because I do have a therapist that I, that I go to. Um, and she has been helping me get through this. 
But this is something that um, is so overlooked and so it, people just don't talk about it. Like it doesn't happen. And it does. I don't want to continue rambling. Needless to say, Peter never showed up. And I feel like he... I. F I really, really hate to think like this, but I really feel like he set me up because he never showed up. But that's my story. If you ever been through this before, I understand and we can lift each other up.